Oh, so that's just only after you would have that original problem. That after. Got it. Okay. After. That's what I'm saying. You do this first. Even if the problem on the homework asks you for this, you need to do this first. You got it? Do that first. Is that what going to be just F and G, or are they going to use different letters? They could use different letters. They could have H and, and J or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But it's going to refer back to two. These functions will be given to you, okay? And they're going to be different on your problems. What I want you to do right now is find g of f of 3. If you want to get a jump start, if you've already done that, I, I want you to find f of g of x. I want you to find g of f of x. After you do those two things, remember, this comes first always. I want you to find f of g of, oh, let's see here, let's do four. and g of f of 4. Okay, before you start, you all should be done with this one. Let's go ahead and do this. g of f of 3 says you're going to go back up to g of f of x. You're going to look at the very end to the, the expression that you got at the end. That's 2x squared plus 1. What number are you plugging in? 3. Just plug in 3. That means 2 times 3 squared. That's where that 3 is going, is into that expression. You're going to get 2 times 9 plus 1. That's going to be 19. Good, good. So on this problem, which I'm going to have you do right now, I'll give you about a minute to do it, maybe two minutes. Which ones are you going to do first? The first and second one or the first and third one? First and third. Probably, or, well, you're not going to do these ones first, are you? That's not, going to, that's not going to work. You could do the first two first if you wanted to. But make sure you do this one before this one. Make sure you do this one before that one. So go ahead and do that. That if you want to try your hand at this, if you're done with that quickly, go ahead and try that one. We're going to do f of g of x and g of f of x together in just a moment. I don't want any, no, you don't plug it in numbers. Now we walk around. If you need help, let me know. Kind of an important concept for you moving on.
Okay, I'm going to make sure that you got these things right before you do these things. Of course, these are the, the items that you need to do first. The, the compositions with just the x variable, that way you can plug in the number later and it's way easier. Are you with me on that? So let's go ahead and see if you got this, this done correctly. So, can you all tell me what goes inside this particular parentheses? 3x minus 5. Good. And it's referring back to g of x. 3x minus 5. The only le letter left on our problem is f. So you're looking back at f. You're reading that in your head or reading it aloud, you got x squared plus 1, right? x squared plus 1, x squared plus 1, parentheses squared plus 1. Did you write parentheses squared plus 1? Yes. Are you seeing where that's coming from? Mm -hmm. Parentheses squared, parentheses squared plus 1. Why am I going to f? Why am I going there? Because you've got to write the f function out. Because it says f. Yeah. It says f. We're looking at those two things. So you're looking here, f says parentheses squared plus 1. I've written that out. What goes inside that parentheses? What was it? Whatever's in this parentheses goes in whatever parentheses you have left. I want to see how many people got that one, got that one right. Yes, if you, if you didn't raise your hand, you didn't get it right, right? Okay, that's fine. If you didn't, where did you make a mistake? If it's Plugging in the wrong function here, you need to really watch that. Okay, you need to look here and get that function. I mean, this is f of g of x. This should be f of g of x. It's the same exact thing. You just got to refer back to the correct function and put it here. The letter that's remaining, that's telling you what to write out next. So you should be using, typically, you'll be using both functions somewhere. If you use the same function twice, you've done it wrong. Okay? You should be using both these things. If it's asking for two different functions, of course you're using both functions there. Now, you can choose to distribute that if you want to and combine like terms or leave it. I really don't care. I prefer to see that one. It's easier for me to grade. So, there you go. Now, how about g of f of x? Let's go ahead and practice this one. Can you all tell me what function should I be looking at for this one? What's, what is it? x squared. And then just x squared? Plus 1. Okay, good. Equals. Are you okay with that step? Yep. That was the second most important step. The most important step is the next one, but the second most important step, you should have g of that function, that function is x squared plus 1 in this case. So x squared plus 1 goes right here. Take a moment to look at the board. Are you okay with it, honestly? Okay, good. Now what function are you supposed to look at? G. G. That's the only letter left that represents a function. What does g say? 3x minus 5. 3x minus 5. Good. Now, that's supposed to be 3 parentheses minus 5. That's exactly what you write. 3 parentheses minus 5. Are you okay with that step? That's the most important one, is looking at the correct function and writing it appropriately. So this says you're looking at G. It's the only letter left. This, is, this you're going to ignore for just a second. Just ignore that for a second. Look back at that function. That says G, 3 parentheses minus 5. We wrote that out. Now you just got to translate this parentheses into this parentheses. Just, just uh, replace it. What goes in there? Now you can probably distribute that one a little bit easier than that one, right? So go ahead and do that if you want to. Otherwise, you, you can leave it, but it's probably going to be a little bit easier to plug a number into this next thing I'm going to write than this one. Here, it really doesn't matter. So we're, we're going to do 3x squared plus 3 minus 5. You see where that's coming from, I hope? That's 3x squared minus 2. Now, what's the 4 have you do? What's this one mean? Plug it into Plug it into this one? No. Or the, no, this is the one that says f of g. Now, just take that plug in the 4, so we're going to get 3 times 4 minus 5, all squared, and then plus 1. We're just taking that value of 4 and inserting it into the function that you just, just figured out. How much is that all going to be, please? 7. 7? Oh, 49. 49? 50. 50? It ends up being 50. 49 plus 1 is 50. Sorry. It's okay. It's all good. It's early. 12 minus 5, 7, 40. Okay, 50. <laughs> cool. Did you get 50? Yeah. Next one says, take that 4, insert it into this function. That's three. It, it, either way, it's going to work out correct for you, okay? Whatever form you leave it in. 3 times 4 squared minus 2. How much do you get out of that? 46. 46. 
that's the idea. Can you can you handle the idea? We're gonna try a couple more really really quickly, just to, so you see a couple different scenarios here. If we want f of g of x in this case, again, I'm gonna move kind of quick on these examples. We already really covered the the main issues. We're gonna have f of inside the parentheses will be good. We look back at the original function f. F says x squared plus 5. You see that? So instead of x squared plus 5, folks, what are you going to put? Parentheses. Come on, say it out. Parentheses squared plus 5. Parentheses squared. Okay, good. I like it. Are you okay with that? Look back at that f. What goes inside that parentheses? Now, here's something interesting that can happen when you compose functions. Firstly, how many people feel okay getting that far? I went fast, but we should be able to handle that. What happens? Uh, yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Sometimes when you compose functions, that can happen. Square of a square root, that's going to give you x plus 5. That's your composition, just x plus 5. So all this stuff reduces down when you compose it, x plus 5. Kind of neat. Let's do it the other way, see if it works out the same. Here we're going to have g of f of x. Of course, that's going to be g of what's inside the parentheses in this case. Everybody, what's going to go in here, please? Okay. The only letter left on the board is g. What's g? So square root of square root of parentheses. Square root of parentheses. Instead of the x, you put a parentheses. What goes in that parentheses? Now, this parentheses really doesn't do anything but group this expression together and let you know that the entire thing is underneath that parentheses. Do you see that the entire thing is under that parentheses? Mm -hmm. That's why we, I had you do it this way so you see that, so you don't put square root of x squared and then plus 5 at the very end. We have those parentheses, they're meaningful in your problem, but then the very end, it's not really doing much. You have the square root of x squared plus 5. Can you simplify this square and the square root? Can you bring up the x? No. You can't bring up the x. Because it's, it's combined with that plus. You're done. That's all you can do there. So it's, it looks a lot different than that one. A lot different. You ready to try one more example and then we'll call it good? Sure. Okay. I'm glad one of us is ready. <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you. 